Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. I have been solving math problems out of this book here. Practicing to take GRE, the general test, 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. If you're thinking about sitting for the GRE, it has seven real exams in it. The problem that I'm about to solve is the one that you're going to find on page number 200. Quantitative comparison question number 11. Let's take a look at it. They give you a picture here. A to B is the diameter because it goes through the center and they tell you that O is the center of the circle and that's how we know if the line is going through the center it is the diameter. I'm going to digress here for a second. You see when in a situation like this when I'm taping this thing and you're watching it from God knows where uh, it's very different than teaching somebody face to face where you can very easily ascertain the caliber of the student, their vocabulary, their language skill, everything about their math skill, everything. It's very simple, very easy. Any, any teacher can do that within, within a few minutes of interaction. But in this situation, I really don't know who you are, what your, what your level of vocabulary is, what your level of the math, uh, math skill is and so forth. Anyway, if you do not know the meaning of the word digress, look it up and learn it. It just means to go off a topic. Allow me to digress for a second here. It is, not, it is not required here, but it doesn't hurt to learn. If this is a center, that line that goes through the center of the circle, of course, is called the diameter. Do you know what we call lines such as this one? A line that does not go through the center of the circle, because this is what we're dealing with here. We're dealing with two lines here. What is, what is a line such as this one called? Does it have a name? Answer is yes, it does have a name. The terminology that is employed in the geometry is chord. It is called a chord. Not that it's required here. It's not required here, but it doesn't hurt to know because uh, some other question, they may actually employ that terminology and then it's handy to, to know it. So anyway, we have two chords, A to C and A to D. A to C and A to D. Let's see what the question is asking. They basically want you to compare. I'm going to erase this now. So we have a chord AC and a chord AD. This is a chord, this is a diameter obviously because it goes through the center. What do you call a line such as this one? I drew it too far out. A line that touches a picture, any picture, doesn't have to be circle, anything at all. A line that touches a picture just at one point, only one point. Does it have a name? Of course it does. It is called a tangent. Anyway, enough of the digressions. Let's, back to, let's get back to what we were talking about. So they want us to compare the length of the diameter versus, versus the average of the length of the chord CB. Oh, I think I messed up the the, the notation here, and not that it makes any difference, it makes no difference, but anyway. They want you to compare the length, they want you to take the, uh, compare the average of the length CB and CD versus AB. But AB of course is the diameter, whatever BC is and whatever BD is, is less than the diameter because it does not go through the center. For example, for example, I'm going to plug in a number here. Let's pretend that the diameter is 10. If the diameter is 10, I'm just making it up. If the diameter is 10, then whatever the length of the CB is, is less than 10. This is how we write less than 10. This is also less than 10. So if I take the average of two numbers, and both of which I'm telling you are less than 10, what do you infer, what do you surmise? About their, about their average, average of two numbers. This number is less than 10, this number is less than 10. If I take their average, that average is going to be less than 10. Obviously. 
and that's all it is. This is 10 because I'm, I'm pretending that a to b is 10. If a to b is 10, the average of these two numbers is less than 10, the answer is b. That's all. That was the end of it. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me for private tutoring or if you wish to buy the solution manuals to these problems in any of the exams, uh, get hold of me through my uh, through email. Go to my website at www.prepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepprepp